record. Hello there, this is Nostra Vinny in one of the big events. Mr. Jake Paul, the problem child, is about to get into problems because he's taking over the, he's taking on a legend. A legend that's quite rusty. He hasn't fought in 30 or some odd years, Iron Mike Tyson. He may be rusty, this piece of iron, but Jake is going to feel like he's been hit by a piece of iron. Now, Jake is not bad. A lot of people dismiss Jake. They say he's a, he's a media star. He's not real. He is a real fighter. But he's fighting Mike Tyson. And for the first three rounds, Mike Tyson is going to be a very dangerous man. And the, the truth is, Jake... Is uh, he's a what? Uh, Mike is uh, 220. Jake is 190. So you got to cruise the weight against the heavyweight. And uh, and uh, Jake is, does have size. Jake's uh, primary uh, advantage is youth. But youth is not going to win this fight. I'm telling you, it's going to be uh, a victory for the Ulsters of my uh, rage bracket. People who are on ARP will be shouting from the rooftops. Ulsters, Ulsters, Ulsters. Anyway, that's what's going to happen. Now, the next fight uh, on the top of the, the co-main event is between two ladies. Katie Taylor, an Irish lass, against Armando Zorano, a Puerto Rican lass. Well, let me tell you something. I'm Irish. You would think I would have a bias towards... My uh, Katie. Oh, Katie. Oh, beautiful Katie. Oh, by the way, I forgot to announce the records of Jake Paul and uh, Mike Dyson. Uh, Jake is 10 and 1 with 7 KOs. Mike is 50 and uh, a 6 knock, knocked out or uh, lost uh, 6 fights to uh, 44 KOs. Okay, well, 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 we'll leave it at that. Katie Taylor is 23 and one with six KOs. Not that much firepower, but uh, she can have she a little bit of pop. Armando, Armando who is the uh, Henry Armstrong of the ladies, won the uh, titles in like six uh, things from uh, light flyweight or heavy flyweight to uh, lightweight. Well, the real deal, which is her uh, name, uh, much like the Holofield, is going to really deal a beating to Katie. I think Katie, she's a little shop worn. She doesn't have enough firepower. Zorano has 47 victories, two, two defeats, one draw, and 31 knockouts, which is unusual for a women fighters. Okay. Okay. Mario Brazo, Mario Brazaros, 29-2 and 18, 18 KOs against Abel Ramos. 28, 6, and 2 with 22 KOs. Mario will mow down Abel. Abel will not be able to win the fight. Abel is a good fighter. He's got good firepower, but he doesn't have enough firepower, and he's been knocked out quite a bit. Of his six defeats, I think four are by knockout. So, uh, you know. Now, this is a strange fight. Goyet Norichit Goyet, I'm probably butchering the man's name. The man to change his name is something I could pronounce. 18, 4, and 2 with 8 KOs is going to fight uh, uh, N uh, Nunez. Zero. No uh, uh, record. But he does have a record. And one of those things where they get like uh, personality people, uh, just jockeys and singers and, and social influencers beating the hell out of each other with rudimentary uh, boxing ability. Of course, now Gayot is uh, in the, actually the same kind of category uh, because he's an Indian fighter. I mean, think he's between 160 and 70, but you don't have that many Indian fighters. They're, they're, they're novices. They don't have a big amateur background. Yeah, I saw that he's um, a little defensive, and, and uh, Nunez is aggressive. So and uh, the, the, Nunez has tattoos on his tattoos. He's very busy. You look at him and he's like, there's a lot going on here. He looks fierce and he's aggressive. Now, the now the next fight is the uh, Sweet Terminator. Sardasha Green, 14 and 1 with 11 big kills. Probably one of the biggest punchers in the whole female boxing community. Is going to fight the whip, Melinda Whipspool, 7 0, with two KOs. 
I got to say this. The thing is, the whip is going to get whipped. The, she just doesn't have enough firepower to take Green off her, and Green can knock a building down. Let me tell you something. The prince, Lucas Burrito, I'm probably, I'm butchering these people's names. There's no doubt about it. 17-0 with 15 KOs against Armando Casimiros. Also undefeated. Uh, uh, 14 and 0 with three kills, no firepower, and that's going to be the difference in this fight. One guy can punch, one can I can punch. The last but not least, and I'm not sure this is going to be on the cards. It's going to be uh, Bruce Carrington and uh, a one 13 and 0 with eight kills against Dana Coolwell, 13 and two with eight kills. Dana is sort of a elongated uh, Puerto Rican guy or Mexican guy, I'm not sure which, who can box from a distance. Uh, has a good oh, pop, but Bruce, Bruce is a different category. Uh, shh, we'll be putting, uh, go like, shh, go to sleep, Dana, because Bruce is a very good fighter, outstanding. And I, I could see a title shot and becoming a champion and not only becoming a champion, but becoming a very... Uh, Successful champion, above average champion. Okay, that's my predictions. I got predictions for tomorrow uh, on uh, on uh, these fights. I put money down on this. And now I want you to, if I win these fights, to be uh, awed, awed, awed by my, my, my psychic abilities. Yeah, psychic abilities. All right. Now, I'm going to just put this here. Ah, anyway, I'm gonna go by that by by now. Let's see. Let go here, and all right. I think I'm doing this proper, proper. Ending meeting for all. There's only me. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey.